Hey everybody, Kristen here, and I've got some exciting news. It's Friday evening, which is exciting because I don't have to go to work tomorrow. But more importantly, I just checked all of the plants in the garden, and I found zero cucumber beetles. So that's very exciting. I'm going to now apply more neem oil just to keep up with it again tonight. Uh, things look pretty good. Doesn't look like anything needs to be watered. I think we hit 80 today so there is a chance a very small chance of rain tonight but the, the plants they look pretty good nothing looks horrible I mean other than the decimation by the cucumber beetles but other than that things are actually looking pretty good so I'll uh, give you a tour of what I think are the best looking crops <laughs> first and then we'll take a look and see eh, what's not doing so great so the beans these are all looking fantastic. They're doing really well. I'm excited. I can't wait for them to grow even more. This lettuce looks phenomenal. Very excited. I'm gonna, I had planned to harvest some today to have a salad for lunch and it was just too busy at work so I didn't get a chance to do that. These are the zucchinis that uh, have not been completely decimated. They are looking pretty decent, not too bad. The dill is still hanging on. I'm gonna zoom out just for a second. There we go. The dill is looking pretty decent so far. Here are a couple other squash plants that are also looking quite well. And more lettuce, leaf lettuce, that's looking great. The peas are also still doing really well. Um, again, I'm not exactly sure when to harvest them. Um, I don't know if you wait till they're a certain size. They're two different kinds, so I'm not sure <laughs> exactly when to best harvest them, when not to. Maybe I'll just take a chance, harvest a few, and see what they taste like. My onions are still doing pretty well. Again, this is another crop that I don't know how to tell when it's ready to be harvested. Is there a way to tell when they're ready to be pulled? If you can maybe help me out with that, that would be great. Leaving a comment below. The grape tomatoes are still plugging along in their containers. Ended up putting them in containers because I just ran out of room in the garden. But they're all hanging in there and those were all grown from seed and I'm pretty proud of those. The cucumbers, they're also doing pretty well. This one looks a little sad compared to the others, but hopefully it'll perk up. These ones surprisingly have done really well. They haven't uh, been completely wiped out by the striped cucumber beetle like some of the others. And this is my sun sugar tomato. Zoom out on that. and. As you can see, we got a little tomato down there and it's starting to turn color. So that's pretty exciting. And this is my one sweet cluster tomato plant. And as you can see, we've got one, two tomatoes there and two more here. Those are doing pretty well. So that's pretty exciting. I think the ones I am most proud of in my gardening adventures are the Romas. Um, those were the ones that I really wanted to do well and they've done really well. They haven't, you know, produced any flowers yet, but I think it's coming soon, I hope. And even the, the straggler is uh, coming along well. The other ones are getting pretty big, so that's very exciting as well. The container cucumbers, those are doing pretty well. Um, two of them are doing better than the third. The third, unfortunately, became a victim to the cucumber beetle. The kale is still really growing strong. I'm pretty happy about that. It's looking quite good. The cabbage over here, it's still looking great. The heads are really forming. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. The cherry tomato is looking good. 
as well. That one looks like it does need a little bit of watering tonight, so I'll take care of that. Other than that, we have more lettuce here, which is doing all right. It's not doing as well as the others. And we have a couple more zucchini here that are doing well. And lettuce in the raised bed is doing really well. And one more is the carrots. I'm still impressed with myself with the carrots because I've never been able to grow them from seed and seems to be working out all right. Now let's get into the things that are not doing well. What is going on with my cauliflower? Does anybody know? <laughs> it's just so weird. All of the dogs are going a bit crazy in the area. We did have a bear come by this morning. This broccoli's, uh, sorry, this cauliflower is actually doing really well. Um, this one is kind of starting to split out as well and I don't know why. So if you know that, please let me know. And the broccoli is starting to split out as well. If that should be picked, um, please let me know. And same thing with this one. Okay, it is now time for me to get to work with the neem oil. And then after that, we'll see what, uh, what else is happening. Well guys, that's it from me tonight. I gotta deal with this grouchy old fart, you. He's uh, 14 years old, his name's Dewey. He has one eye, three teeth, he's in congestive heart failure, but he still has the attitude of probably a six month old, so. He's a little bit feisty, aren't you, buddy? Yeah. All right, hope you all have a good night, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.